We've said it over and over again. Trends are made to come back. The Y2 aesthetic pink is coming back with more power than ever. And this specific era was known for excess, so more is more. My name is Laura Kyung, and I am a graphic designer with over 12 years of experience. In this poster tutorial, I'll show you how to make an oil spill rainbow background be dazzled with everything. And when we say everything, we mean it. All with a sense of design, of course. If you're short on time, be sure to check out Envato Elements. There are plenty of Y2K backgrounds, oil spill rainbow effects, and hollow dark backgrounds. Plus, a lot more assets for your projects like photos and fonts. For this Y2K poster, you will need a few assets from Envato Elements. This fancy butterfly, the image of woman in headphones, transparent tapes texture, crimson queen font, downy white sands, and the rip edges photo effect. So let's get started. We can start by creating a new document in Photoshop for your Y2K poster. Select the A4 size, or set your document to 210 millimeters by 270 millimeters. Make sure that the resolution is at 300 dpi and click create. Let's set up a few guides, head over to view, new guide layout, and in the new guide layout pop-up window set the columns and rows to 5. Set the margins to 1 cm and click OK. To create the Y2K background, in the layers panel select create a new fill or adjustment layer, select gradient fill, set the angle to 180, style to linear, and click on the gradient swatch. Here we will set up a few colors. Let's start with FFABAB. Click OK. Let's make sure the, the opacity here is 100%. And then drag another swatch and add EEFF7F. Click here to add another swatch. 90FF76. Click OK. The next is 7BFFDE. Next is 7A91FD. The purple is C66BFF. And the magenta will be FF3CCF. And here it doesn't have to be exact, more or less even. Click OK. And click OK. Let's add a liquify filter. Head over to filter, liquify, and in the pop-up window, click on convert to smart object. Let's click OK here. In the liquify pop-up window, use the tools on the left-hand side to create swirls on the gradient. You can use the throw clockwise or the forward warp tool. Just make sure that your brush size is 1200. You don't have to be exact with this. You can stop whenever you want. There is no right and wrong for this step. Just try to achieve a good mix of colors. Next, we're going to add a noise. Head over to filter, noise, add noise. And in the add noise pop-up window, set the amount to 20%. Click OK. To add more saturation to the background, go to the layers panel. Select create new fill or adjustment layer. Curves. In the Properties panel, set the curve to Ascent. This will add more contrast and saturation. Let's find the ripped edges photo effect. Select the Effect group and right-click Duplicate Group. And duplicate the group to the Y2K poster. Click OK. Press Command T to transform. We can resize the effect and rotate it to fit our poster. Expand the effect group, hide the text layers, and now we will add a layer mask to the whole group. Using the brush tool, make sure that you have the foreground and background colors to black and white, and with black we will start hiding this part. Another way of doing this is heading to the effect layer, press option and click on the effect layer. This will select the parts of the layers that are occupied. Press Shift Command I to invert the layer. And now with the new layer mask we created and using the brush tool, we can erase the parts that we don't need. I want to change the color of this paper to black. 
so I'll add a solid color and use 1A177. I want to group all of these layers. Click on the first layer, press Shift, and I'll click on the last layer. Press the Group button, and now we have this organized. Let's find the clear tapes, and feel free to add as many as you want. What we're trying to do here is to add more texture and depth, and let's try to think logically as to where we would need these tapes. So I am using them to tape the black paper onto the background. Select the woman in headphones image and bring it into Photoshop. Resize it to 30% and rotate it to 4 degrees. Let's place it here. I want to move the black paper a little bit and this will require us to clean up a little bit here on the right side. Let's move the tape. In the Layers panel, click on Create New Fill or Adjustment Layer and select Hue Saturation. In the Properties panel, set the hue to 110, Saturation to 62, and Lightness to 25. Select the Hue and Saturation layer, right-click, and click on Create Clip and Mask. This will apply the effect only on the last image layer. Let's add a few pieces of tape on this image. Now it's time to add text. In the Tools panel, select the Type tool or T on your keyboard. Click on the poster to add a text box. And let's add more and the patties. In the Properties panel, set the font to Crimson Queen, size to 115, lighting to 90, and color to white. Let's place this text on the top left corner of the poster. Create another text box. And here add the entire line. In the Properties panel, set the font to Downy Black, size to 55, lighting to 45, and the color swatch to 3E64DF. Press Command T to transform. Rotate the text box 90 degrees counterclockwise. Create another text box and add a date for the event. Set the alignment to right and the color swatch to white. In the Properties panel, set the font to Downy Black, size 105 points, lighting 105, and let's place this over here. Add one more text box for the CDs, and in the Properties panel, set the font to Crimson Queen, size to 18, tracking to 200, and the color swatch to black. Rotate the text box 90 degrees clockwise, and place it on the right margin of the poster. Drag the butterfly image into the Y2K poster, press Command-T to transform and set the size to 35% and rotate the image to 35 degrees. Select the image and click on the Add Layer Mask button. And using the brush tool, we'll close crop the butterfly. We can either do it this way by setting the foreground and background colors to black and white, or we can use the selection tool to select all of the white parts Press Command I to invert, and let's just clean up this here. In the Layers panel, select Create New Fill or Adjustment Layer, Color Balance. In the Properties panel, set Red to plus 30, Magenta to minus 100, and Yellow to minus 100. Right-click on the Color Balance layer and select Create Clip and Mask. And there you have it, this is your trendy neon oil spill inspired rainbow poster. It has all of the elements of the Y2K aesthetic, it is loud, eye-catching, and it has a sense of design. If you want to follow this tutorial slowly, make sure to check out the link in the description below. We have a written tutorial with all the values of the colors and the menus, and you can follow it at your own pace. From all of us at Envato, my name is Laura Kyung, thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next one.